Hi, I'm John Biggs. I'm Frédéric Lardinois. We're with TechCrunch TV. We're here outside of the American Embassy in Berlin, and we're going to be speaking to some folks on the street in regards to the recent Angela Merkel spying case. Given all of the controversy, Frederick, what do you think is happening here on the ground? It's been a, uh, it's, it's fairly quiet out here outside the embassy right now, it's right? It's really quiet out here. There's people protesting the Iranian government, mm -hmm. but I don't see any outraged Germans around us here. It's pretty quiet as the usual tourist scene out at the Brandenburg Gate. So this is quite obviously a very technologically oriented, almost a hack. Uh, it's my understanding that Angela Merkel has three phones, four phones, that it it, it wouldn't have been very hard to, to break through some of that security. She's got a bunch of phones. She's got, as far as I know, she's got her secured government phone, but she's also pretty much a text fiend. She's got a phone from the uh, party she works for, and she's got a personal phone, and she is texting all day long from what mm -hmm. people tell me. Up here you can see the Der Spiegel helicopter flying around trying to grab the, uh, trying to grab video of the listening post, which is on top of the building here. We received this from the uh, NSA Public Affairs Officer Vinny Vines, who wrote, General Alexander did not discuss with President Obama in 2010 an alleged foreign intelligence operation involving German Chancellor Merkel, nor has he ever discussed alleged operations involving Chancellor Merkel. News reports claiming otherwise are not true. Friends don't do this to each other, as Chancellor Merkel already said. I'm sure all countries do this, but the fact that this goes all the way up the chain to the German Chancellor, that's just too much. These days, I think we all get tracked somehow. It starts with shopping, and I wouldn't really be surprised if one day we learn that we all get spied on by intelligence agencies too. I think it's stupid that the NSA is spying on us, and Angela Merkel, and that Obama says the US isn't spying on her. Personally, I'm not afraid they are spying on me. I have nothing to hide. I don't do anything bad after all. Ich denke, dass die, die Aktivitäten der NSA, soweit wie wir das jetzt wissen, ähm, an die Grundfälle der Demokratie reichen. I think the activities das, of the NSA, as far as we know, um, threaten the foundations of democracy itself. That's not acceptable. Most nations are based on a foundation that is being attacked by these activities. This could get us to a point where we cannot talk about a democracy anymore, and instead about a kind of totalitarian regime. I really, really hope that other countries don't do the same as the United States. We will always need intelligence agencies. It can't be that everything is just publicly available on the internet. I'm aware of this, but it can't be that friendly nations just spy on each other in this way either. So there you have it, right from the streets of Berlin. It was an interesting uh, bunch of discussions, right? Yeah, it was maybe even more interesting than the people we talked to were the people who didn't want to talk to us mm -hmm. because there were so many people who just didn't want to talk on camera about the NSA case. It's just um, scary how, how it's got people worried. Concerned, I guess. Concerned. Yeah, it's a, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a strange situation and, it's, uh, and we'll be reporting about it on TechCrunch. I'm John Biggs. I'm Frédéric Lardinois. And you're watching TechCrunch TV.